What's up, my brothers and sisters in Christ? I haven't made a video for a while, you know, guys, and I've I've wanted to make a, I've want, wanted to make a video to encourage you all, because just like you, I am born again, and I am living in the world, and I know how important it is to be encouraged, you know, guys. At times in our walk with God, it can be extremely hard. My brother, my sister in Christ, you know, guys. And recently, God has delivered me from, you know, guys, every obstacle, every demonic attack, every pit that I've been in. You know, guys, hallelujah. You know, guys of, you know, feeling like I'm in a pit, you know, almost feeling depressed, defeated, you know, guys, the Lord, every time I got down to that low point, the Lord would get someone to ring me up and, and take me out or would go out or the Lord would bring someone to cross my path to encourage me, you know, guys, you know, guys, when recently, when really, really severely bad things happen, like, I'm talking really bad. Brought tears out of my eyes. You know, guys, really just hard times. The next day, the Lord blessed me so much. You know, guys, often when you're going through the hardest times, you know, guys, in your season, in your walk, in your life with the Lord, the Lord will make you go through good times immediately after. And the Lord has a way of doing this, but it makes you forget, you know, guys, the, the pain, the, the turmoil, the, the just the devastation that you've just been through, you know, guys. And I know some of you are going through the same demonic attacks. Some of you are in the same kind of pits right now, pits of depression, anxiety, fear, you know, guys, let down. You know, guys, um, being stuck in a cycle, you know, guys, it's real, you know, guys, you know, guys, um, our enemy is real and tribulations in this world are real. Hallelujah. You know, guys, it's like that saying, you know, your tears will sow, you know, when you sow in tears, you will reap in joy, you know, guys, time and time again. You know, guys, I've experienced this while going through, you know, the the valley of um, just extremely hard times. You know, the Lord is there to encourage you. The Lord is there to to strengthen you. The Lord is there to give you peace. You know, guys, the Lord is there to counsel you. You know, he's there. That when you're crying, you know, you can lean on his shoulder. Hallelujah. When you're feeling down and, and depressed, and you know, you're just in the, the worst state that you've been in for such a long time, the Lord is there to encourage you, to break that depression, to break that anxiety, to break that fear. Hallelujah. You know, guys, I want to remind you tonight, that our God is the living God. You know, He isn't imaginary. He really does help you. You know, guys, whether you read it through the Psalms, what, what you know, people in the Bible went through, or whether you just experience it by walking through the storms of life, time and time again, God provides. You know, God continues to provide my brother. God continues to provide my sister and you know guys just time and time again I just gotta watch out for the car but time and time again my brother time and time again my sister God provides you know guys strength guidance clarity you know guys like this might sound cliche but nothing surprises God there is nothing that God can't handle you know guys you know, guys, this is a broken world. 
you know guys you know guys and we just have to take it one day at a time we have to understand that in order for God to do something he needs us he needs human beings to do it you know guys we are the hands and feet of Jesus Christ it is God's will that everyone is healed you know guys made whole but Jesus commands us to go lay hands on the sick and they will recover in other words if God wanted if God could heal everyone in the whole planet by the snap of his fingers he would but he can't because he needs someone to lay a hand on them someone to pray for them you know guys it's called legal rights you know guys he can't override his own free will you know guys and um that's just why you know getting off topic but that's why satanists they pray that's why satanists do their curses and all that kind of stuff because satan needs legal rights to destroy and attack people just like god needs legal rights when we pray when we fast when we do those things so god can move and intervene in the situation because sometimes we we say god why are you letting this happen or why this why that you know guys god is love god is love in other words if God could help you in this situation, he would have done it by now. But there must be a special time. There must be, you know, God is working everything out for, the, for your good and for his good. Hallelujah. So you just got to trust him. You know, guys, you really got to trust him. What are those three Hebrews from the Old Testament? Midshad, Ridshak, and Abednego. They trusted God to the point where... They wouldn't bow down to a uh, golden idol of King Nebuchadnezzar and they got thrown into the fire. And guess what? Jesus was there. Jesus saved them. Hallelujah. You know, guys, hallelujah. And in the same way, Jesus is there for you. And you might be saying, well, Ben, what about, you know, the people who, who are martyrs? You know, I just recently saw this young woman who got stoned to death by Muslims from her school in, I believe it was Nigeria. You know, guys, it almost made me bring tears to my eyes, but you know where she went? She went straight to heaven. So, you know, guys, it's like the scripture, death, where is your sting? You know, guys, hallelujah. Because we know on the cross at Golgotha Calvary, 2023 or so years ago our enemy was defeated he still is defeated but I just want to encourage you my brother while you're going through this storm of life just don't give up just don't give in yes it's painful yes it's hard yes you know the demons they may, may try to torment you with this and that and you know, and God's timing is not your timing and, you know, all these things. But I just want to encourage you that Jesus promised and Jesus proves this, that he will never leave nor forsake you. Hallelujah. So keep your eyes on the one, you know, who who is going to help you, who is going to deliver you, who's going to heal you hallelujah keep your eyes on jesus christ he loves you he's not finished with you yet he will make a way for you you just got to trust him you just got to keep on following him you know guys hallelujah he understands what you're going through and he will make a way for you my brother you know it's hard even when you're going through the storms, storms of life, it's hard to even pray, you know, because things are so hard. But I just want to encourage you, you know, guys, that He, Jesus, will never leave nor forsake you. He loves you, you know, guys. He understands, you know, guys, that it gets hard. He understands your situation. He'll never leave nor forsake you. Keep on putting your trust in Him. Hallelujah. Because it's only a matter of time. 
before your breakthrough, your healing, your more than enough comes. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.